Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm going to pick up where I left off. We're going to go ahead and install the benches today for the banquette. And I wanted to give you a couple of tips before we get started. First, I took the trim all off that was around the baseboard. And we'll cut that and put it back on the ends a little bit later. But we're going to attach the top, which is a piece of oak, a little bit later. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to drill up from the bottom into that piece of oak. So we wanted to drill holes. As you can see, I've drilled holes here all the way around. So later, instead of having to try to crawl around on the floor and do all kinds of drilling upside down, I've got my holes pre-drilled through it. Later, we'll set the top on it and we'll just run our drill uh, with a screw up from underneath. One of the other things that I did here was in trying to get this, it's got to be perfectly level. So we'll probably use a couple of shims here and there. But one of the things is these wall sockets. I did not want to remove the wall sockets and close them off because I could actually still lift the lid on my bench and use the wall sockets possibly. So anyhow, what I did was I took and measured that wall socket is a quarter of an inch thick or that plate is. So on the back, as you can see, I've put a quarter of an inch spacer here on this and along the back side of that to space it away from the wall a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in, get it leveled up, and then we'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, so I came back and I've taken all the boards that we cut and painted a few weeks ago, as you can see, and just took a nail gun, got everything level and square, and have went ahead and put the front boards and the end boards on. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut the trim pieces. And when we cut them, I'll show you how I put them on. First, I'm going to mount this uh, bench to the wall. As you can see, we've taken, and I went first and marked where all the studs are uh, on this wall. And all the way around. And I'll go ahead and I'll put uh, three, four, five um, screws in about four inch screws uh, through the two by fours into the studs behind the walls to secure it and level it and we'll come back to you when we start doing a little bit of the uh, face trim okay real quick I just wanted to come back you know when we cut the or bought the plywood to do this uh, we had bought half inch plywood and if you manage your cuts just right you'll end up with enough that you can do a shelf liner as you can see my wife wanted uh, to lay uh, a board down in the bottom the reason being of course if you want to you know use it as storage you could put a you know blenders or pots or pans or whatever you want down oops I'm trying to take this off but as you can see We've got a little space underneath. So using the uh, one sheet of plywood that we bought half inch, uh, four by eight sheet, we were able to put both ends, the fronts on here with that one sheet of plywood and also put the shelf liners in the bottoms. So we're pretty much done with that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is start cutting trim for the outside. As you can see, these have all been secured to the wall. Remember where we marked the wall where the studs were? And then we come up and we drilled two holes in the top, two holes in the bottom, and put some four inch screws in. And we went all the way through uh, into the studs of the wall. Everything's level, everything's square. You need to definitely get a level and a square and you may have to shim it just a hair here or there. As you can see, this one here 
had to have a little bit of a shim underneath it to make this perfectly level because your floor is not always level. Corners are not always square. Um, I don't know that I've found a house where a floor and wall were square or level. So that's where the shims will come in. And then we're going to go ahead now and start cutting trim pieces. I'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay guys, real quick, I just wanted to, we're back. I've went ahead and I've put all of our trim on the front. I'm down to my last piece. Uh, now I'll have to put some on both corners, but I just kind of wanted to make sure you understood how to get this. Some people understand, some people don't. I'm trying to get my center beam. So what I did was I took here and I measured inside to inside and I had 47 and a half. And I just take and take my calculator that tells me I need the center of it would be 22.75. So then I'll take it here and come out and I'll look at 20 or excuse me, 23.75. So I take that and I know this is my center and I've taken this one and I put it in and then I measured inside of here. I'm 22 and I'm 22. So I've got the symmetrical right in the center. All I'm going to do now is go ahead, because I've got my 2 by 4 back here, I've got my plywood back here. I'm going to put my trim piece in. I'm going to need to come back once we're finished, and I'm going to take a little bit of, of paintable caulk, and I'm going to fill these divots, let them dry, and then put a little touch-up paint on them, and we'll be done with this. So I'll come back to you in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the both ends, but uh, I just wanted to kind of let you see where our progress was. We'll be back to you in a little bit. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show you the pretty much finished product. All we're going to have to do now is go back and trim a couple of, or uh, excuse me, caulk and touch up paint on the corners and where we've put uh, nails in it but it's ready to go all we got to do is like I said touch up do a little caulk and then put the top on it so we'll come back to you guys when uh, when we get the top and get ready to install it talk to you soon Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, we had been showing you some video prior where we were building this banquette to go in the kitchen. And then the, I think the last video we did was putting the trim on it and actually installing it uh, in the kitchen, mounting it to the wall. As you can see, we had mounted it right there to the studs uh, you can see where I've marked my lines where the studs are. And then yesterday put the lid on it. The lid, this corner piece is stationary. It is all one inch thick uh, oak. And that one is uh, perfectly square. And then we have the two tops that lift up, which are hinged. And the way I did that was from underneath... Um, I used a four inch screw that went through the three and a half inch two by four and it screwed one half of an inch into the oak top. I'll attach the um, website uh, on HGTV where I got the plans to build this and you can duplicate it if you'd like. So I built a frame, I built the, the banquette itself um, I put the front on it, put all the trim on it, painted it, mounted it to the wall, and I had a local carpentry shop build the top for it. In the plans, it has the uh, top being made out of uh, one inch plywood. We decided we wanted to beef that up a little bit and use some real hardwood. So this is oak, and I went and got the piano hinges from uh, Home Depot and it has a piano hinge 
So one side, this side opens up as you can see, and that way we've got plenty of storage. And then if you come around, um, the other side, same way, has a piano hinge. <clears throat> this one is 48 inches. The other one was uh, six foot seven or 72 inches. And then we had them build a table um, so that the table would match the seat and the top of the table would match the seat. So it's all made out of oak. The table is 60 inches long and 50 inches wide. And the same person built us four chairs, which match the uh, tabletop and the banquette seats. So at this point, we should easily be able to put eight people at that dinette table uh, very comfortably. The only project we have left yet is we're going to make cushions. And I think we're going to put a back on it that I'll mount to the wall. Uh, 48 inches long, 12 inches wide with a cushion uh, back, which is the same material as what will be on the seat cushions. We went and got uh, four, uh, excuse me, three inch thick pieces of foam that were four inches long or four feet long and six feet long. So we'll end up putting a cushion on top and then we'll put a cushion uh, back around the wall. So we'll probably do that on a different video, but I am very, very happy with the way this thing turned out. And like I said, I'll attach at the end of this, the uh, website where I picked up the blueprints for it. You guys have a great day. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe. We've got a lot more projects coming up. Have a great day.